Hi, and uh, welcome to Intro to Project Management. One of the first things you're going to have to do is select a project to use uh, in the context of all your learning. It's important that you choose the right one, not just for your learning, but also because it will increase your chances of being successful if you're going for a formal assessment, and also it will help you to link what you learn here in this course back into your work environment. So, behind me here, We've got the Tagle Polytechnic new student accommodation block. It's uh, over $20 million worth of uh, investment. There will be literally hundreds, or certainly over 100 contractors on site. Uh, it's going to last about 17 months. It's a big project. You don't have to have one of these to be able to do this course. There's a whole variety of different projects that you could pick up, either at home, and there's a good example of that in the video on the next section of this course. It could be volunteering, it could be in the community. Uh, there's a whole range of different things, but it has to meet some criteria. To truly be a project, it has to have a clear start and a clear end. It's got a temporary nature. The other thing is that you need to have some stakeholders. So for your assessments later on, you're going to have to have at least three stakeholders involved you're going to have some risks to measure. Things that could go wrong and manage uh, the likelihood of them going wrong or what you would do if they do go wrong. It has to have a clear scope. It's not just an open-ended job. There's a set scope. Uh, things that are in and out of what you're expected to do. For your project to be about the right size, you really want to be able to have one that is complete within a 12-month period. And it can't be just you. There has to be more than one person involved in getting this project done. Yeah. So you don't need to have one of these, but you do need to meet the other criteria. The best thing to do is have a look through the assessment rubrics. Those rubrics will give you lots of detailed information and will help you make an informed decision as to what project you're going to pick. Now, if you are working through the series of four micro courses, PM 101 to 104, if you're working through them in order, it might be a good idea to think about the same project all the way through and do the courses concurrently with that project. If you're picking them at different, in a different order, or perhaps only doing one or two of the four courses, it's no problem to do a different course for each different module or each micro course. So, Pick a project, make sure it's big enough and complex enough to be able to meet the marking criteria and the learning that you need, and think about whether you want to do it all one all the way through or pick and mix different projects for different micro courses. Good luck!